Hey guys, what's up and welcome back to my channel. As you can see, to complete the main six, we need Twilight, we need magic. So that is the project for this video. I have had this design concept since last summer, but I knew I had to make Twilight last for some reason. I wanted Twilight to exude a mage vibe. I really wanted to bring the magic in her character, but I also pulled in the fact that she was from Canterlot and has Spike as an assistant. And I also hinted some Daenerys Targaryen elements there as well. I was so obsessed with Game of Thrones when I was designing Twilight, so I knew I had to tie that in some sort of way. <laughs> also, just a disclaimer, I know that Twilight is an alicorn and she has wings now, but my take on her doesn't look too good with wings, so she's going to remain a unicorn. I just didn't want to compromise the design just to add the wings, so maybe later in the future I may add wings but for now she's gonna be a unicorn in my book <laughs> so now let's go ahead and get started so for this custom, I actually had a hard time choosing which one to choose because I didn't really want to use Kitty Cheshire because everything would be purple. Like literally her dress, her hair, like everything. So I decided to use Elizabeth's head and also Bunny Blanc's body. I was so annoyed because I snapped another neck peg. I've just had such bad luck and I learned my lesson. So I literally had to put Bunny Blanc's head in the boiling water to make sure everything is soft. And if you're wondering why the heck did you change the body when they both have the same skin tone, I just love the Ever After High bodies. I love how they have more meat and more curves, but I knew I had to extend Bunny Blanc's legs because they are very short. So I cut her thighs and I hot glued some wire in it to act as a armature. Then I use epoxy sculpt to fill her thighs in and blend it with her skin. Hot gluing the wire in her legs is not ideal for a permanent solution, however it makes it easier for me to actually put clay on it without having the wire moving around. After sanding it, I just use acrylic paint to blend everything in. While that's drying, I'm gonna work on her wig and I'll be using yarn for this one and here is the three steps I take to make her webs. You guys have seen me make these all the time so this is like the basic steps. <laughs> This is just gonna be a simple wig with full bangs, very similar to the Hinata wig that I did before. And the colors I chose is actually deep violet, but I also added black in the back just to give it more dimension. And of course, I added her hot pink streak in the front. I also wanted her hair to have a blunt cut in the bottom. So I'm just taking my scissors and I'm just cutting it straight out. For her face, I do my usual steps, removing the factory paint with acetone and giving her a fresh look with pastels, pencils, and acrylic paints. I wanted her to have a clear face and I tried not to do a dark eye because I know I'll be covered by her bangs anyway. I was actually choosing between a grin or a natural expression. I just thought that the grinning was kind of fun but I knew it wasn't as twilight as I liked her to be. I actually didn't think that Twilight would take me 15 days to complete, however, I did add a lot of details that I think tied her look all together. I was having such high anxiety because I wanted to upload videos, but then I was working on Twilight, and there wasn't really a way for me to start another doll so I can upload something before Twilight, so I really focused on finishing Twilight to make sure I love every single detail about her.
after that, I give her lashes to frame her face. And I'm just using human fake lashes. I know that they actually sell doll lashes out there, but this one actually works for me. And I love how fluttery and long they are. And you can always trim it too, so that's what I do. and I gloss her lips and also her eyes. I actually don't glaze the black parts of her eyes anymore because it reflects too much light in photography. And now that we're done with her beautiful face, I'm going to sculpt her unicorn horns using epoxy sculpt. And my way of sticking it in her head is actually just using pins. And I'm just going to be doing a gradient on her horn. I want the tip to be really, really purple and have a pearlescent sheen to it. And then I want the base to be matte pink like her skin. I knew that I had to create Spike, her assistant, and at first I was actually going to use Raven's Dragon from Ever After High, but in the end it looks too chibi for me, so I invested in some realistic dragon figures from Michaels. They were actually pretty hefty in the price, but hey, they had such beautiful sculpts, so I thought it was worth it. I actually got two different sizes for Spike. I want him to be able to change from really really cute and tiny to big and ferocious. So I'm just going to repaint this to fit Spike's color scheme. It's actually so funny because in the end, he kind of looks like Spyro from the video game. <laughs> and of course, I also painted the tiny version and it's so cute! Drop Dead Fashion from Instagram actually made my concept dress come to life. She is so nice and her works are very detailed. Everything is lined, everything is stitched perfectly. And I just, I'm amazed. I will be revising this however since I changed the body type and I'm also going to add the details obviously. The short sleeve that I wanted her to add was actually restricting the doll from posing so I had to scrap it all together and I just added the wired leather point. I think it adds more edge, literally, and it gives the waist a tinier appearance. And then I worked on her skirt, which I actually covered with leather panels. I really designed her to have lots of angles, and this was one of my favorites. It was so cool having it all in black, but I knew I needed to give it some color to add the twilight flare. I'm just using my glue gun to add some texture to her skirt just to add more of a medieval look, make it a little more dirtier looking. And then I'll be painting all of the textures purple and it'll have a gradient effect. I know I wanted to keep it all black but I really restricted myself and I said she needs to have some purple going on in her skirt. And then I'll be adding some gold trimming to all of the panels just as an accent color. And for additional detail on her top, I'm just using my glue gun to add some trimming all over her top. <laughs> I wanted to represent the library that she and Spike lived in, and I was so inspired by the chandelier that her friends made her for her new house, and so I wanted to recreate that in the apron part of her skirt. I was actually showing this during my livestream on Instagram and people were commenting that it looks like a Fire Nation outfit, which I agree, it kinda does. <laughs> For her top, I wanted it to resemble her cutie mark, surprise surprise! So I cut out this plastic piece to have the 3D look and painted it. For her shoes, I'll be using Widona's boots that I got from eBay, and I just wanted it to not stand out too much, but I added hints of her current color story to marry them together.
I actually dry brushed almost everything with black and brown for Twilight because it makes everything look dirtier and worn which I kind of like and I noticed that it makes the gold stand out even more. So this staff was actually one of the last minute ideas. I knew that I wanted to replicate the cane that Discord gave her as a joke, but the main inspiration came from the hobby horse that Alice had in Madness Returns, the video game. So I got this horse from Michaels again, and I use its head to help me with precision and time since I don't really know how to sculpt a horse head. Um, I glued it onto a barbecue skewer, and I added the details with epoxy clay and glue gun. I knew I wanted to modify the horse's mane and make it more dramatic as usual for me and so I just used the clay strategically and I blended it with his mane. I painted it gold and dry brushed it with black to fit well with her current color scheme. And then I added some chains to its mouth because I knew I wanted some sort of movement with her staff. Like I know if I blast wind to her, like I wanted something in her staff to move. So I thought this was such a nice touch. Adding Aloysius, oh my gosh, that name is so hard to pronounce, was another last minute idea that I had came up with. I found this one and only owl from Hobby Lobby. They were the only ones who actually has owls that would fit a doll scale. And because this sculpt is supposed to be a snow owl, not really a standard owl, I added some eyebrow feathers with leather to give him something, you know, to make him look like he's frowning. <laughs> now that that's done, let's go ahead and assemble everything to see the final look. fly down there but I don't even know where to fly to so we don't need your mumbo jumbo magic to rescue her right let's go and save Fluttershy with 
his splinter and read him bedtime stories. But like I said, I'm not Persephone. My queen, you have become delusional. Have you forgotten who you are? No. Like I said, my name is Fluttershy. And I think my- Prepare for trouble! And make it double! I mean, quintuple! To protect the world from devastation! To unite all peoples within our nation! To denounce the evils of truth and love! To extend our reach to the stars above! The rarity! Applejack! Rainbow Dash! Twilight! And Pinky! Main six blast off at the speed of light! Surrender now or prepare to fight! That's right! You guys came! Hades, let Fluttershy go! Wait, hold on. Why is everyone worked up about this? And why is everyone calling you Fluttershy? Um, because that's who I am? This whole time I've been telling you? Hades, that's not Persephone. Where are your glasses for goodness sake? You know you don't see here, there, there, there. Oh, my Zeus. My apologies, Fluttershy. I have really bad eyesight when I'm so stubborn with my glasses. It was a huge misunderstanding to compensate for all your trouble and to thank you, Fluttershy, for helping with Spot. I would extend your thread of life. Ah, uh, thank you, Hades. It was actually very nice hanging out with your dogs. Hey, Twilight, don't you have a spell you can use to help Hades with his eyes? Actually, Spike, you're right. I do have something. Hades, prepare for 2020 vision. I hope this spell don't fail today. To love, love, go, Whoa, my vision. It's been cleared. It was like fog was lifted. Thank you so much, Twilight. I don't know how I can repay you. Oh, it's nothing. I'm just glad I can help. You guys are so sweet. Thank you guys so much for rescuing me. Of course, Fluttershy. We're always here to help. And now the main six is completed. Ah, <sighs> You guys, let's go home. <sighs> <sighs>